Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you a small yet very effective tool for working with LUTs. In LUT Mixer, you can load several LUTs and offset them against one another to apply them to an image. The great advantage over applying several LUTs one after the other is that LUTs usually are designed to be applied to neutral and unedited images. Therefore, every sequentially applied LUT but the first is not applied to an unaltered and neutral image anymore. LUT Mixer applies all loaded LUTs in parallel to the same image material while normalizing the overall intensity of all LUTs which are in averaging mode to 100% automatically. You don't have to adjust all other LUTs if you have changed the intensity of one single LUT. The overall effect will not decline or start to clip. To show you how it all works, I will now load a few LUTs. Since all LUTs will be offset, the order in which the LUTs are loaded has no effect on the result. First, I deal with the initial three LUTs which I have loaded. That's why I deactivate the lower two for now. In order to see what every single LUT is doing, I can single them out using the solo star icon. This means that all LUTs, less the LUT in solo mode, will be deactivated. If I take the solo star away again, the previous state will be restored, which means that only the bottom two LUTs are deactivated. Please note that the solo feature is not a separate parameter by itself. If you want to use this feature within a keyframe animation, you will have to arm the parameter for deactivation for each LUT separately. I want to mix the first three LUTs in such a way that I end up with a new color look. Since the intensity of each of the three LUTs has already been designed to result in a very decent color look, in theory, I would have to reduce the intensity of each LUT to a third in order to avoid ending up with an effect which is much too intense. Now, every time I pushed one of the three controls, I would have to lower the other two controls a little to make sure that the overall effect doesn't become too strong. To make sure that this doesn't turn into a very time-consuming endeavor, any number of LUTs can be set to the averaging mode in LUT Mixer. All LUTs set to average will proportionately be offset and in addition, the cumulated total intensity of the averaged group will always be normalized to 100%. To illustrate this, I will go through a few settings. If the sum of the three LUTs which have been set to average exceeds 100%, the group's overall intensity will be lowered. If it is less than 100%, it will be raised. The settings of 30, 20, and 10 will therefore produce the same result as 60, 40, and 20. In doing so, you can quickly and intuitively mix different color looks without worrying too much about clipping because of the accumulated intensities. Of course, this requires that the individual LUTs are not clipping already. If you find the color effect of the combined LUTs in average mode still a little too intense, or you would like to reduce it a bit because of buildups caused by other LUTs set to some, you can reduce the overall intensity of the average group with the separate master control. In addition to the first three LUTs, I have also loaded a LUT which will only affect the colors of the sky and another which will only brighten shadows and lower lights to achieve a faded film effect. Since the faded film LUT will not tint the image and the other will only alter the sky's colors, I will not include them in the average. I prefer to leave LUTs which only influence a limited color range or whose summation will not cause a color channel or the entire image to clip set to sum to avoid diluting the effect within the averaged group. I really like this look now. Has the overall result become a little too intense because of the addition of several LUTs, you can lower the total intensity with the general master control. One more final advice at the end. If you're working with log footage and you have different conversion LUTs into Rec. 709 by various producers, you can also mix them quite nicely in LUT mixer's averaging mode 
without having to worry about the overall intensity. LUT Mixer – Essential for Working with LUTs